Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, the body suited, okay? This is the Mystery Channel 33, and if y'all want to know who's involved, as y'all know, the white supremacists, the African Americans, okay? Let's begin. This is by a young woman named Brittany Davis, 32, vanished in Frenny Frenny, fiancé charged with murder, Okay, this is how she looks. Base. Okay, um, this is um, this is a a woman in such a contest. This is your mother. Okay, she want me to tell you. You do not know your name. This is your mother. Um, um, you know you are. You know in the LGBTQ community. That's why. Okay, because you know two women, two men are supposed to be together. Okay. Also, if I make y'all enemies, okay, you and your wife, your girlfriend, okay. So let's begin. For months, the Greenville Police Department pleaded with the public for help in locating Brittany Davis. The 32-year-old vanished two days before Valentine's Day on February the 12th, Frenny Frenny. But it would take her loved ones, she's saying yes, she did go missing in Frenny Frenny. But it would take her loved ones another month before they officially filed a missing person report because many believe she was still alive. Sadly, this case will result in devastating news after her remains were located over one year later. Okay, this is how she looks as well. I don't know. The last time Brittany was seen was either at the Bucks, Racks, and Ribs restaurant in Greenville or while being dropped off at home following the outing. Depending on what reports you read, the South Carolina residents were reportedly living with her fiancé, 42-year-old Michael Lee Wickerson from Lawrenceville, Georgia, at the time, and he was a clear personal interest throughout the investigation. Basically, Nilsa Brown. I'm going to do a video on him tomorrow, okay? So stay tuned on my article page, okay? He He's involved, okay? In April 2021, human remains were located in a wooded area in northeast Georgia, Okay, so she in the trash can behind my old house, okay, where the grim sleeper buried his victims, okay. I'm also in the trash can as well, okay. Probably that, probably that in the altercation happened when people came and beat me up and stuff. They only beating me up because maybe their family members are dead, okay. And I'm probably in the trash can with them, so, yeah. Okay, um, anyways, um, Woody area in northeast Georgia and later they were determined to belong to Brittany Davis. Wilkerson was arrested during a traffic stop. That stands for human trafficking, says trafficking, in August, in August 2021. See, they say she went missing in 2020. Why did they, why did they stop her? You know, they put the wickers in the dude, okay? Yes, yeah, true. We did stop Nusa Brown in 2021. And a report by People in September 2021 stated that Britney's cause of death was not yet known. Investigators speculated that Britney was a victim of homicide around the time she went missing. And even more, yeah, she, yes, she is. This is homicide, okay? Terrorist attack. And even more fisted fact to this case is that Brittany's mother, Melanie Hollyman, shared with Fox Carolina that from February to March, Frenny Frenny, when they start killing Kia, she continued to receive text messages from her daughter's phone. Melanie believed it was Brittany, and the last message stated that her daughter was taking a trip to Puerto Rico. Police allege that it was to make the loved ones of Brittany Davis believe that she was still alive after she was already deceased. Okay, that's a code right there. This is how he would have, this is how he looks, okay? Okay. Wilkerson had been charged, he like he's like he an Asian or a Chinese man. Wilkerson had been charged with murder. And Brittany was a shining light and for her to die like this is just heartbreaking. Former co-worker Brian Paisley told WSPA, people pass away of cancer or they pass away in a car wreck or something like that. You can kind of know what it was, but to not know where she was and how she passed away, I think that was the biggest thing that really just hurt everybody. She's saying, yes, I'm seeing her crying, okay? She's saying she was murdered. Anyone with information, she's saying, got nothing to do with y'all being, you know, lesbians, okay? It's because... That's how they feel, okay? Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Greenville City Police Department at 864 467 or their local authorities. 
The agency case number is 2-20-19033. Please share this story about Brittany Davis to help spread awareness about her purported domestic violence case. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? Because you know they got, okay? So if you don't, if they, if they, if they don't like what you're doing, they're going to kill you. Or anybody that you love, okay? Come and sense. Make it make sense. Come on now. Boo your head, okay? Anyway, so if y'all like to help with this case, comment below or something, okay? I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And if you want more information on this, look, read the description box. Please, thank you. Peace.